United States Senator Tom Cotton from Arkansas. Good morning, Senator Cotton. Everybody uh, fine on Team Cotton? Good morning, Hugh. It's good to be back on with you. As far as we know, everyone in my whole extended family is doing well. Hope that's the same for the Hewitt family and uh, all your listeners, too. Thank you. Uh, Senator Cotton, I want to cover the uh, Josh Rogan column this morning. But before I do, I want to ask you about Josh Hawley's proposal, which I I believe I'm going to endorse in The Washington Post today because I think it's uh, critically necessary that we get relief to everyone impacted. What do you make of Senator Hawley's proposal? I haven't had a chance to talk to Josh about it yet, uh, but I'm open-minded to any idea that would help workers who have been laid off or lost hours and families who are under distress at this time of great national peril. Uh, When we move quickly with the CARES Act, the simplest way to do that was through the unemployment system and through the direct tax rebate system. Uh, But as we have time to move a bit more uh, deliberately in the future, I'm open to examining Josh's proposal, something like what Germany does, uh, which is designed to help companies keep workers employed at lower pay rates and the government makes up the difference. I think we need to do everything we can to keep folks working and connected to their employer. So once the economy gets back on its feet, we're not having uh, employers struggling to find workers and workers struggling to find jobs. That's that's exactly it. I agree with that. And I agree with him. We'll we'll come back to that. I got to turn to Josh Rogan. I read Josh Rogan's column in The Washington Post this morning about the bat studies at the at the Wuhan uh, a virology lab, and now I want a flamethrower to be d- dispatched to Yunnan and to the caves there. Uh, but the more important issue is: Do you think? Do you think the Chinese accidentally released this virus on the world as a consequence of these bits of evidence we're seeing? So, to orient all your listeners, Hugh Josh uh, reports on the existence of cables from our embassy in China from 2018. Uh, more than two years ago, uh, about alarming sa- safety concerns at both the laboratories in Wuhan, specifically as it relates to the research into coronaviruses, which, as I've said, it can be perfectly legitimate and even needful, especially in that part of the world. But, of course, when coronaviruses like the SARS coronavirus or like this coronavirus are so contagious and be so deadly, the highest safety practices are needed. Uh, and apparently some of our personnel in the Chinese embassy when they visited uh, the labs in uh, Wuhan were alarmed at the shoddy safety practices. Now, as I've said, going back to early February, we don't know the origins of this virus. We do know the Chinese Communist Party lied about it originating in that uh, so-called food or wet market. Um, It's only responsible, especially in light of this reporting, that we examine the possibility it originated in those laboratories. Now, again, that doesn't mean that it's man-made or engineered or that it was a bioweapon. It could be something as simple as shoddy construction or operational practices or or just poor practice among the employees there. Someone got infected and walked out or they disposed of the animals on which they were experimenting in an unsafe way. Um, The Chinese Communist Party owes it to the world to be upfront and transparent about what was happening in those labs so we can understand more about this virus if it, in fact, originated from those labs. Did you learn about the cables from the Rogan column? No comment, Hugh. All right. Uh, There are similar concerns about the nearby Wuhan Center for Disease Control and Prevention Lab, which is a biosecurity level two lab, which ought to be, according to these cables, which originated from our embassy, a level four lab. It, it, It leaves the impression that perhaps, as we have learned about Chinese manufacturing of PPE, they just don't have our standards and they ought not to be entrusted with making our stuff or doing this kind of research. Yeah, you know, let's just say that uh, it's uh, grading on a curve to call any laboratory in China a uh, biosafety level four or level two. What they call level four is probably what we would call two. What they call two is might be what we call a high school chemistry lab. Um, China has a history of bad laboratory construction and practices. In 2004, after the SARS epidemic had subsided, the SARS coronavirus escaped from one of their labs. These scientists at our embassy in um, Beijing obviously were worried about practices there going back as far as two years ago. Um, And surely the Chinese officials knew uh, about these concerns as well, yet they apparently did not do much to uh, try to remedy them. And in fact, now they're engaged in a campaign to disappear anyone with any knowledge about what's happening in Wuhan or at these laboratories or to suppress any kind of research or information 
about the origins of this virus. It's so obvious. I got to close quickly by playing for you cut number 11 from yesterday's press conference, Paula Reed and Anthony Fauci. Cut number 11. Are you doing this voluntarily? Or did no, the I'm doing it. I, uh, everything I do is voluntarily. Please don't even imply that. You know, uh, Senator Cotton, uh, the blue bubble is a hell of a drug. Every day the president has a press conference, never does President Xi have a press conference. The general secretary of the Communist Party never comes out and talks to people. What is wrong with the blue bubble media? I I think that's a well-taken point, Hugh, is that uh, Donald Trump is speaking transparently every day directly to the press, and Chairman Xi never does, and everything he says is disinformation. I think so many of the media in Washington are, are so deranged by their hatred of Donald Trump that every bit of news is fun as anti-Trump news in one way or another. I I think you're right. I I just do not believe in the middle of a pandemic. They can't shake it off for a day. For a day. Tom Cotton, thank you. Josh Rogan's column is available at WashingtonPost.com. Very important to go and read it. Confirming suspicions that uh, a lot of us have held for a long time. Don't go anywhere, America. It's the Hugh Hewitt Show.